We've spent a wonderful 24 hours on Barra Island, enjoying its many sights. But it's time to move on and take the ferry and our breakfast back to the Isle of Uist. We have a whole day to explore and geocache in some remote parts of Uist. So join us on our last full day in the Outer Hebrides. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Roll that intro. We're heading for some 13th century roundhouses that are, I believe, they're semi-buried, if that's such a word, back on Uist. We're driving back up to Uist, staying overnight before we head back to the mainland on the ferry tomorrow. And on our travels, we're just stopping off from place to place, including here. We've arrived at the ancient roundhouses. Tell me something I didn't know about these roundhouses. There's never been they've been here since 650 BC. Six, they've been here since 650 BC. Wow. So this area was inhabited over 3,000 years ago. People lived here. And people were also buried here. to think that these were once proper buildings and homes. Not far from the roundhouses is the coast. One of many stunning beaches on the west coast of Uist. up again. This time we're in search of two geocaches close to an old pier from the 1950s that was abandoned about 70 years ago I'm guessing. the old port is this settlement we're heading for. It was around in the 1920s, abandoned in the 1940s. And then a little bit more up to date, over there is a fish farm. Once a home to somebody then, or to a family. And we've just spotted the geocache as well. When you put your hands in, you've got to be careful of ticks. One geocache. Is it the lockdown? Hey, 
haven't you been able to get your hair cut in lockdown? It's very beautiful actually. You are stunning. Bye. Doing a bit of remote geocaching. <laughs> yep. Pretty remote. <laughs> us the views and the odd gust of wind or two. This is an old road that leads to this school that used to be here many many years ago. See the school teacher's house first, just over the rim of this hill. And there it is. Like many of the older houses around here, they don't have roofs, just left to collapse and go into ruin. beams on the roof. Right children, now listen to me. So that's the teacher's house. Now we need to find the school. Fingers crossed, somewhere over there, we should find ourselves a geocache. So these must be the school grounds. What would it be like to go back in time to see this as it was? Lane thinks it's home time. <laughs> so we're going to find the geocache. Hello. Yes, bye, Elaine. <laughs> Make sure you do your homework. So what you see here, the foundations of the school building. And the children used to go up these steps into the school. school you can see the teacher's house as well looking over it incredible absolutely incredible this place we now have a geocache to find which is a little bit further on over there I do believe this is Geocache. Yay! It's a good one, Simon. It is. It's, uh, it's an ammo can. Plastic.
When was the last time it was found? Well, the last time it was found was on the 13th of August last year, 2020. Okay. And today is the 24th of May 2021. Log sign. Yeah. Let's go back. Good morning. This is our final morning. And last night was our last evening on the Outer Hebrides. Otter's Retreat, I think this place is called. Ticked all the boxes. We even had an electric hook up here last night, which was useful. 